Remember when Trump said during the social media summit last week that it'd be like a rocket ship when he put out a beauty on Twitter? It'd be like a rocket ship when I put out a beauty. <laughs> well, it turns out he put out quite a beauty the other day. Following the ongoing turmoil in the Democratic Party between Ocasio-Cortez and Nancy Pelosi, which we'll get to in a later video, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell, President Trump felt the need to display his disgust for the leadership in the Democratic Party and the direction they're going to take the United States. Trump didn't hold back one bit in letting us know his contempt for the socialist Democrats who are trying to take over the country. The rocket ship took off like a beauty when Trump put out the following series of tweets. So interesting to see progressive Democrat congresswomen, who originally came from countries whose governments were a complete and total catastrophe, the worst, most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world, if they even have a functioning government at all, now loudly and viciously telling the people of the United States, the greatest and most powerful nation on earth, how our government is to be run. Why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came? Then come back and show us how it is done. These places need your help badly. You can't leave fast enough. I'm sure that Nancy Pelosi would be very happy to quickly work out free travel arrangements. Now to any rational human being, there is nothing wrong with these tweets. I mean, let's be honest, if you hate America so much, why are you here? Why turn the United States into a socialist hellhole when you can move to another country's breadline? But to the mainstream media and the Democratic Party, what did they think of Trump's tweets? That it makes him the R word. I can't say which one or we might lose our channel, but I'm sure you guys can figure out which R word I mean. Ocasio-Cortez wasted no time to make up lies and put out the following statement. It's important to note that the president's words Y day, whatever, whatever Y day is supposed to mean, telling four American congresswomen of color, go back to your own country, is hallmark language of white S words. Probably can't say that one either. Trump feels comfortable leading the GOP into outright R word schisms, and that should concern all Americans. Funny because I went back to Trump's tweets to see where he said, go back to your own country, and the quote was nowhere to be found. I also couldn't find where he said anything about congresswomen of color or specified that he was talking about four people. Ilhan Omar tweeted, He's launching a blatantly R word attack on four members of the United States House of Representatives, all of whom are women of color. This is the agenda of white nationalists. Ilhan must have been too busy hooking up with her brother to read President Trump's tweets. Because again, I don't see anything about race when I read them. Posing a screenshot of Trump's tweets, Ayanna Presley said, This is what our word looks like. We are what democracy looks like. And we're not going anywhere. Except back to DC to fight for the families you marginalize and vilify every day. The best part is that in her screenshot, she crosses out the number of likes and retweets Trump's posts got, probably so that her followers don't see how much support Trump actually has online. And this is probably why Twitter wants to move towards hiding the number of likes and retweets people get on the platform, because they don't want you to realize how popular conservative ideas really are in this country. Rashida Tlaib took to Twitter to say, Yo, a real Donald Trump. Very professional. I am fighting corruption in our country. I do it every day when I hold your admin accountable as a U.S. Congresswoman. Detroit taught me how to fight for the communities you continue to degrade and attack. Keep talking, you'll be out of the WH soon. Hashtag TikTok. Wow, you're so tough, Rashida. Stunning and brave. Or should I say, yo, Rashida, you're so tough. These four Looney Tunes then had the audacity to hold a press conference to condemn the R word president and say, quote, he is doing this because he can't look a child in the face. He can't look this country in the face and tell them why we are throwing them in cages. Somehow, despite Omar polling at a mere 8% and Ocasio-Cortez at 21%, these freshman congresswomen were able to set the narrative about Trump's tweets for the rest of the mainstream media to follow. Trump's tweets that everyone is blowing up about contained 891 words. Let me repeat that back to you, 891 words. Yet how many did the media include in their quotes? 
just two words. That's 0.2% of what he actually said. Slate reports, quote, Trump goes on our word tweet storm, tells Congresswoman, go back where you came from. ABC reported, quote, Trump tweets, go back where you came from at a Democratic Congresswoman. The New York Times, Trump tells Congresswoman to go back to the country they came from. The Washington Post, behind Trump's go back demand, a long history of rejecting different Americans. Even failed libertarian congressman Justin Amash spread the same lies as the left and called Trump's tweets the R word, quoting those same two words. Maybe Congressman Amash should get some super male vitality from InfoWarsLife.com so he can grow a pair of balls. InfoWars supplements make your testicles huge. But this is where it starts to get good. I'll give those outlets some credit for at least quoting 0.2% of Trump's tweets. CNN didn't even attempt to quote Trump whatsoever. Trump tweets R word attacks at progressive Democratic women. The follow up article from CNN is even better. We'll just let this headline speak for itself. Then on Tuesday, the House of Representatives voted to formally denounce Trump's tweets. Funny how the Democrats will formally denounce President Trump for a harmless tweet, but they won't denounce the Antifa attack on the ICE detention center this week. But despite the media's desperate attempt to paint a narrative, the American people didn't fail to see through their lies, and Trump's approval has only gone up since. And even liberal news sources are admitting that he's gained support. The Hill reports that, quote, Trump sees Republican support rise after go back tweets. The media is literally playing into Trump's game and feeding him support for the 2020 election. They are too gullible to realize that the American people aren't stupid enough to fall for their lies anymore. And the reason he won in 2016 was precisely because we saw through their narrative. Even after admitting that Trump's support has gone up after his tweets, the left-wing media is still trying to save face. Just look at this headline from CBS. Trump supporters stand by the president amid inflammatory tweets. That's why I voted for him. As if going after President Trump wasn't good enough for them, now they are attacking the character of his supporters to paint them in the same exact light they tried to paint Trump for his tweets. But guess what? It's not going to work. His support is only going to grow. His base is only going to get larger. And his margin of victory in 2020 is only going to grow wider. But our support can only grow larger with your help. If you want to help me be able to keep going out and making videos that expose the intolerant left, I need you to visit InfoWarsLife.com and get the best supplements out there to help you start living a healthy life today. You're already buying vitamins anyway, so why not get them from InfoWarsLife.com instead so you can help me keep traveling the country to produce content you love. I love taking brain force before I write my scripts. It gives me all the focus I need to put this content together. And when I want to feel energized before going out to do interviews, I take the Real Red Pill Plus to make sure I have all the energy I'm going to need for that trip. And when I get home after a long day on my feet at all these rallies, I take bodies to help my aching muscles and joints feel good as new. I honestly wouldn't be able to make it through any of these rallies without all the great supplements from InfoWarsLife.com. And I definitely can't keep going out and making this content unless you go there right now and show your support. I also want to start hiring security for when I attend these rallies and do street interviews. So if you want to help me be able to do that, please join my Patreon at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett. If you sign up, not only will you be able to keep me safe from all these nasty Democrats, but you can receive cool perks such as shout outs, autographed photos, and even have your name in the description of every YouTube video. Thanks so much for watching and make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. Trump yeeted a series of, tre of <laughs> treats. <laughs> they are they treats. Are treat. Info War. The most banned network in the world. Okay, it's true. I stayed up late last night, so I had half the turbo force this morning. The vitamins, the minerals, the amino acids. The vitamins, the minerals, the amino acids. The vitamins, the minerals, the amino acids. The vitamins, the minerals, that's turbo force. Five different types of caffeine doesn't have a crash. Five different types of caffeine, that's turbo force. Five different types of caffeine doesn't have a crash. Five different types of caffeine, that's turbo force.
turbo force. Get the fish oil.